Welcome back to the Wacken Axis channel. Today, we're back in the wood yard, and we're gonna be splitting up some oak. Stay tuned. So, all this wood right here was in this little dump trailer. This is my neighbor's. It's a single axle, it's 10 foot. I think, I think it's a six by 10, but these things, if you get a lot of weight in them, uh, past the front wheels, they don't they don't want to lift, especially since all that is oak. So we had to split just a row of rounds out of the front here last night, and then it then it was okay. And that's what that tote right there is. We filled probably half of it. So. Today, we're going to work on getting this cleaned up so we can get the wood out of the back of the truck. And that's all oak, too. And we're going to be splitting with the Lowe's Performance Pro 32 ton log splitter. So, I get a lot of questions in the comments about this log splitter. And yes, we bought it from Lowe's. Like I said, it's a Performance Pro. 32 ton log splitter. It's got a Briggs and Stratton XR professional motor on it. And it's got like a 10 second cycle time. And when we were looking, we were looking for a log splitter that was going to be fast. We wanted one that was pretty heavy duty. And this was the most heavy duty that we could find out of all the different stores. Um, like we have uh, farm and homes around here, like a uh, Home Depot maybe, but this was the heaviest duty one that we could find. And we have probably split 10 cords. Uh, I mean, all that over there was split with that, or this splitter, all all this right here, all that over there. Um, uh, probably actually 15 cords, but there was only one problem that we had with it after about two weeks of splitting with it. I think it was this hose was a little bit loose and was just dripping a little bit of hydraulic fluid out of there. But that was an e easy fix. Other than that, we have not had any issues with this thing. So, I'm going to get to splitting.
basically, uh, since we don't have equipment, we uh, take these totes by hand and set them up on top of uh, the other ones. And then we have to back the trailer right up next to it so we can stand on it and stack in it. And usually, uh, when I stack the back wall, I just sit in here and Dad hands me the pieces from the trailer. But since we're doing the front row right now, I gotta stand right here. Um, and one thing that I also wanted to mention, we have a firewood friend, just like Chris at In the Woodyard, who's got Cookie and Woody. We've got E.T. And he is made from a cherry round that is a crotch piece. So, we're going to start stacking. Close to the top, and I'll give you some flats. not going to put a tote on top of it. Yeah. Because that lid 
is almost like a balloon at the top. Getting close? Yeah. Just gonna peel that side out and then I'm gonna get up there and see if there's any spots in the black pieces on top of there. Well, I need to look. Not really anything else. I need to see more in there. Small. Oh, no, I think I'm good now. Alright, stay there, I'll give you the lid. I lost it. That didn't work. Sorry, you All right, so we finished this toad out, got the lid on it, um, and uh, that was just a, just want to make a little short video showing you how we stack them up on uh, the top here since we have no equipment, uh, makes it a little bit inconvenient, but it works and it saves a lot of space so you can see. Um, we're just right now trying to get as much wood put back for next year as we can. Uh, the whole back, there's a whole back row back here, totes, that's pretty much ready. And um, I've been getting a lot of questions in the comments about the splitter. Um, and it's been a great splitter. Probably 12 cords, give or take, because we did split some with my grandpa's splitter before we got it. But I'll probably do more of an in-depth uh, review on that after about a year of having it. So, that's going to be it for the video, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below if you have any questions or something that you want to say to me. Thanks for watching.